All righty, welcome back to another stream, everybody. The Network Berg here. Hope you've been doing well. <laughs> so this um, stream is going to be a continuation off of the last couple of streams where we've been installing Linux hosts and installing Ansible on machines and stuff and just trying to get into the whole network automation scope. Um, but we haven't actually had much success with actually running Ansible yet. So I'm hoping in this stream that we actually get somewhere with Ansible since we'll be able to just focus on that specifically instead of trying to install Linux hosts and other things. Um, we've got a little network up and running here on EVE already that I configured in the last stream. There's a bunch of Mikrotix that we want to try and automate. So I'll start them up. And then we've got this Linux host that we imported last time uh, in the stream. What I do want to do though is I might bring in a uh, EVE Docker as well, just so that I can see what the Ansible config file looks on from there so that we don't like struggle because I'm having issues with the config file. Um, that example config file doesn't really do much for us. So we want a working config file that we're just going to shape for our little Linux host and we'll take things from there. So let me quickly import the Eve Docker. It should be the server. And I'll just give it a nice little um, icon as well. So let's make this just a desktop, a bit different looking than the other desktops that we have. And I'll start up the server. If this loads. <laughs> All right, so this is loaded. There's a Docker. Let's just see, is our Linux host still operational? Is it functioning? Let's open this up. There we go. Still got our Nerve Whip uh, background. So it looks pretty good. Uh, let's just maybe max that. And I might just full screen this as well, just to see how it looks. Yeah, that looks good. This is what we expect. All right. Let's quickly start up the Docker as well, so that I can just grab a config file from there and see what it's doing. The Docker should start up relatively soon. Uh, let's just go to the applications. I might just jump into a terminal. Let's just see, is there a Ansible, there we go. So th this is kind of what I was con like expecting to see when we installed Ansible the first time around on um, Linux 21.04 desktop. Because when you install it, typically it creates like this folder with the ansible.config file and the host by default. It just hasn't been doing that on the new installs that I've been doing. So let's just quickly see what does a working install look like. Uh, can I max that? We might just be able to cat that. Um, etc ansible. Uh, let's just first look at our ansible.cfg. Uh, scroll up. I just want to see everything appears to almost just be hashed out. I'm specifically interested in I know with the SSH connection, we might need to make some changes there, but this is also just hashed out. So there's nothing extra that I can see here. All right, this looks pretty straightforward, to be honest. I don't um, see any difference from our example config file that I have. I might just copy this all into another config file on our other Linux host and we'll do some tests, but this looks fine. Yeah. This looks totally fine. I wonder, can I copy screen? No. Uh, let's just see, can I grab this all like this? It might be easier to just, no, but I'm not going to, because I might have to add a nick and add an IP to this and then, oh man, but it's not even uh, taking that all. Hang on, let's get out of the full screen mode. And there we 
let me just jump on to uh, let's make the stalker in its own window as well and then from the host let's just see maybe i'll just uh, like unhash or hash uh, the stuff we unhashed last time oh let me open that stuff with visual studio code as well that might be uh, a bit better than just going into the vi or nano or whatever uh it's doing that thing again where the screen doesn't refresh properly all right let's quickly check here because on the last stream i basically i just want to check this the defaults on here is this also hashed out or not Uh, defaults, defaults, defaults. That's just a bunch of text. Some basic defaults values. Let me just add the hashes back. Cause this, I took the hashes out. And then I know Eve actually gave me a bunch of other uh, errors let's just see can i save it's probably gonna tell me it needs to run a sudo so let's do that uh why don't i make this for t <laughs> pmv one two three shift one two three i think tmb shift one two three one two three yes all right i, I knew that was gonna happen uh, you can watch the previous stream. Like I, I knew I was gonna forget that password, but it's fine. It's uh, easy to remember if you think about it. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to navigate to my. Uh, I think I co created a demo. Pretty sure I created a demo. Was it demos? Maybe. Uh, let's check. It doesn't appear like it saved my there it is demo alice minus la all right so there's an ansible.cfg which is the same file that we're working on here in visual studio code um, and then we've got our hosts which is technically our inventory file so i just want to navigate back to eve's docker again and then let's just do a cat on the hosts this is the default host file it should live in etc ansible hosts all right so this isn't anything new to us because we've already defined some hosts in our own uh, linux server so if i do a cat demo hosts actually i should just cat hosts and you can see I've got a group called Mikrotix where I'm referencing R1 is actually Ansible underscore host. I just want to see on this file. Does it have an example for Ansible underscore hosts or not? Uh, let's just do that. All right, let me close that window. Oh, man, uh, it's funky that that happens sometimes. Go to the Eve topology, back into the Docker. And then from the Docker, I just want to look at that. Why is the Docker not doing anything? Maybe let me just uh, stop that, start it again. Did it go into like a sleep mode or something? I'm not sure. Let's just stop that, start it up again. Hmm. Come on, little docker, stop. Because my issue at the moment, uh, this thing screen is hanging again. So if I do a, um, I don't recall if I created any playbooks. Actually, I haven't created any playbooks yet, but we couldn't do like a ping command from Ansible, which is uh, something like, uh, let me just Google that. Uh, Ansible ping command. 
So what I'd like to do is just run a test. So Ansible, what is that? Mikrotix minus mping. Warning, no inventory was parsed, only implicit localhost available. Let's Google this quickly and see what we can find from Ansible's. Uh, okay, that's not going to work. Demo, no inventory. Okay, let, let's just say warning, no inventory was parsed Ansible. I run a new Ansible, a new Ansible, got the play issue. I was able to SSH into my machine, but unable to run a playbook. Getting, here's my group name. This is the first time I'm getting the issue. Hi, welcome to Stack Overflow. You didn't specify the file that contains your group name, nor the version of Ansible you're using. Although ETC, we don't have that there. You can check what Ansible sees about that file using ansible-inventory. Let's quickly test that as well. Ansible all list hosts. Right, let's just quickly try that. Matt, I knew that I knew <laughs> I was going to do that because I, I just pasted what I was trying to copy here. Um, let me just throw this into another screen so it's easier for me to just read off of and I'll just type it in. So what we want to try and run is Ansible all list hosts. Uh, probably helps if we spell Ansible correctly and Sible. No inventory was passed. Uh, Ansible version, not with a J, obviously. Ansible core 2.11 config file equals home, the network work demo ansible.cfg. I don't see anything there about the path. Let's just quickly set that inventory here. Let me just unhash it or, but here it's already set like that. I'm just gonna remove the hash and quickly see what it does. Uh, retry sudo. I should really just change the folder permission. But I don't need to do that every time. And we're having the issue again where I need to now close. There we go. TMB123 shift123. TMB shift123123. All right. Should have saved that now. Let's just go back to our console. And let's see if I try and run that ping thing again. I feel like the Ansible isn't set up correctly. If I'm if I'm getting like a ton of errors like this, let's just go back to the Stack Overflow article quickly. Enable plugins. Uh, plugin. Uh, 
this is here. Let me take, I, I feel like I shouldn't be taking these hashes out, but this is just us testing around to see if this is working or not. If it gives me something else at least. Yeah, I'm going to add those hashes back. Just need to scroll to the very top for the inventory quickly. Uh, that shouldn't be hash like that should be hash like that. Let's save again. Control S T M B. So one, two, three, one, two, three. All right. So if I go back to my console and I run that same command again, let's close that, open it up again. And let's run the same command. Man, this is annoying. Open it up. No inventory was parsed, only implicit local host is available. Right, let's rather Google that quickly. Um, no inventory was passed. Well, that is what we Googled. Only local host is. All right, we're just opening up a few more. I was trying to run a very simple Ansible playbook. In fact, it was just one template task to generate a file. But when I tried running, I kept getting, this was really frustrating. Right, but I'm I'm pretty sure we we've already <laughs> got everything commented out. But let's see, enable underscore plugins. Let's just control F that enable underscore plugins. It's already hashed out. Let me go back to the Eve server quickly, or let's start it up again at least. And then I want to look at that um, config file again. Cause this is really like strange to me. And I just want to see on the Eve uh, Docker, are we running the same version? So let's do Ansible version. No, it's running 2.9.10. I wonder if I could just install Ansible version 2.9.10. Let's try that. Install Ansible 2.9.10. Um, 2.9.6. I just want to open a few docs here. something about installing Ansible this is a Debian file Thank you. 
Want to check something on my actual Linux host again as well. Just minimize that a bit. Uh, now I'm going to have to max that. Uh, let's just check Python. Python 3. 395, that should be fine. Uh, sudo apt get update. I just want to check do we have any updates? TMB shift 123123. Doesn't really seem like it. sudo apt get upgrade. First version of Ansible um, that I can just install a package with and see if it actually brings up. Because like th this file seems fine if I compare it to the uh, Eve Docker at least. Let me just close that window, look at the Docker. So if I just make this a bit bigger and let me see, can I just maximize that? If I do another cat of the etc ansible ansible.cfg and the thing is we could continue with just using the eve docker but that kind of defeats the purpose as well since i'm trying to i don't want to say help people but um at least install this on your own linux host like i have so that you don't need the eve docker to do ansible um All this is hashed out on Eve as well. Here's the inventory. I just want to do a quick test uh, with this Eve Docker. So I just quickly want to VR ETC Ansible hosts. Let's just create a group that's not hashed out. Uh, let's just do that. Enter. I'll call that. I just want to see if it actually works on this Docker or not. Uh, let's just call this uh, micro. No. Let's go down. Mic. Okay, this is, <laughs> I should probably not be using VI. Uh, does this have nano or not? Let me just quickly, let's just exit that, uh, quit. Do you have nano ETC Ansible hosts? Okay, now we can't do nano. Let's just try and do a vim. Okay, we can call this micro micro ticks and then what we did was we said r1 ansible underscore host and that ip was uh, i'm gonna have to just grab it uh, off of eve quickly let me just minimize this uh, let's look at this micro tick uh, admin blank ip address print that that doesn't look good, but one thirty three. All right, so now my guacamole <laughs> spazzed out again for the uh, Eve Docker. Please don't tell me I need to restart this again because that would be pretty frustrating. And all we did was change. Let's stop that. Let's see if I can just, instead of connecting via like an RDP session or whatever, or guacamole, let, let's just see if we can Telnet or SSH um, onto a CLI for that at least, so that I don't need to, um, you know, worry about uh, the screen freezing. Uh, 
All right, and then let's go back to our. Well, I don't. I don't really want to be in this host yet. I'm going to close this. All right, cool. So there we're on the Docker via the Telnet session. So let's just do a. Uh, did it actually save that? Um, Ansible hosts. No. So we're just going to vim etc ansible hosts. Let's go down, insert. We're inserting micro ticks. Make it R1. Hey man, how are you? R1, so ansible underscore host. host. Hold on. Uh, 192, 168, 74, 133. I think there should be a space there. Let's just hit escape and then right quit that. And then if I do a cat on that now, I've got my micro ticks. So I should just be able to do that ping command again. Um, I think it is Ansible micro tick uh, minus m ping. Well, it gives the same error. <laughs> um, but there's a syntax error here. So let me just VI that again. Let's go down and let's take this space out is potentially the issue. Right quit. Let's just make sure. Okay, that's out. Let's try and do Ansible uh, micro ticks minus M ping. Right. I've got an offending line still. What I might do is let's just remove the Ansible. So this R1 bit with the Ansible host. Let's just give it the IP quickly. And then let's see, can I ping now? Now we're able to do a ping. Maybe that's my error with the Linux host as well. That'd be awesome if it is. I'm doing great, thank you. My my kid's happy, he had a nice bath and uh, things are going pretty well. So even though um, in the country, in South Africa, things are a bit hectic, especially in my province um, with this, you know, the situation. Like there's an alarming rate of new infections and a lot of people, a lot of people that I know have gotten it um so i mean i'm actually thankful that i'm still able to work from home and not be at such a risk to be exposed to uh, those issues well not you, you know what i'm saying it's 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 scary out there um so that wouldn't be able to ping because the docker doesn't have network information so let me go back to the console quickly uh, let's just open up a new console. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to because else we're just gonna be waiting there for the updates. Um, let me just cd to demo again. Uh, demo ls minus la. So I'm not gonna change anything on the Ansible config file now, but I am going to all right. Let's do Ansible uh, micro ticks minus mping. But here's my issue, at least on the on the Eve Docker, it was telling me um, what the error like that, you know, that there wasn't a there was an offending line. There, there was something not correct on the path. Huh. 
Can I see where the path is currently? Let's just quickly see where where's my hosts. Ansible all Ansible all host Ansible all hang on all so it's Ansible all list hosts. No imagery was parsed, only implicit local host is provided host list is empty. Only local host is available. Uh cat. I'm pretty sure we've it's not empty. I want to look at that host, but the, the host file, like all the other stuff isn't important. It's literally just a matter of um let's close that. Because if I look at this host file, let's just cat it, cat uh, etc ansible hosts. These are just examples how to set up the like group. It should live in etc. This is the default host file. It should live in etc ansible hosts. Comments begin with blank lines are ignored. Groups of hosts are delimited, delimited by header. You can enter host names or IP addresses. A host name or IP can be a member of multiple groups. Well, let, let's change that at least on, um, let's say the Ansible server quickly. So let's just do a nano hosts. And then what we want to do is I'm just going to remove all this R1 business and just put in the IPs. And then we'll see what happens if I try and run the ping. I get a feeling it's still going to give us the same error, but I mean, at least we've got a reference on the Eve Docker that it is working this way. So we'll, we'll just do it this way for now. So I'll save it like that. You know what? I, I didn't run this as sudo, so that's my own fault. <laughs> Control X now. So sudo nano hosts, uh, TMB shift one, two, three, one, two, three. Should just be able to hit delete, delete. And I should actually use Visual Studio Code for this as well, um, which is silly that I didn't, but it's okay. Let's uh, save that. Yes, that's saved. All right, so I'm going to try and run the, it still doesn't pick up anything with that. Let's try the Ansible, Micritics minus mping, Ansible. Uh, let's do 192, 168, 74, 133 ping minus M ping. Hmm. Ansible. Let's just quickly go back into Visual Studio Code. Let's scroll up to our so the inventory file, it says it's in, I think I need to specify that I get a feeling that's incorrect. So let's just save this. Uh, retry a sudo TMB shift one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's go back in Ansible. And let's try the Mikrotix command again, micro no so that didn't do anything i just want to reference the docker again sorry we're going to do a lot of uh, referencing now uh so let's just cat that etc ansible ansible.cfg and i'm just going to scroll up 
to where the actual there we go some configuration defaults inventory etc ansible hosts All right so that looks good so i did have that incorrect on here this this wasn't right I just wonder, do I need to put in this bit with home network work or do I just need to specify maybe uh, demo hosts? Let's try that. We might need to do that though. Let's control S that. TMB shift one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, I might have to do some funny business. Close that, open it up again. Okay, it's still not happy. Uh, ls minus la it is hosts tmb shift one two three one two three hmm wonder if i need to maybe just copy that hosts file as well but that would be a bit of a ansible minus version Because there it's referencing home, the network work, demo, ansible.cfg, which is right. Although I do have a difference with Eve, where if I do ansible version, it doesn't like say ansible core, it says ansible 2.9.10 whereas mine is ansible core i might do a quick reinstall with ansible um i'm just going to change directory back and i might do an uh, sudo apt get uninstall ansible Um, sudo pip uninst uninstall ansible because I did install this with pip last so I'm just going to uninstall with pip and then I'll just do the straight install um, through the app git considering that the screen is probably just hanging again. So let's just close that, reopen it. Well, it looks like the screen has done more than hanged. <laughs> okay. And this is just the updates still, which are definitely important, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's not why Ansible is not working or not working correctly. I'm probably just going to have to exit Visual Studio Code as well, even though these Ansible like what I'm uninstalling has nothing to do with the files that I've got in the demo um, folder location. Yes, proceed. Uninstall, please. Uh, let's do Ansible version. I'm still seeing Ansible when I do a version. Uh, Ansible Ubuntu.
Let's do a apt remove uh, sudo app remove ansible. Oh, I think I'm I can't do that because of the setup in the background with the update. Huh. All right, let me just cancel that while we wait for that. Let's just take a break. Let's have a a quick laugh, I guess. Uh, I just want to minimize that because I want to go into my Discord quickly because I saw something scary in my Discord um, <laughs> where this guy Tremor uh, posted a video of, uh, you'd have to see, like, when I saw this, I got a shock, guys. I don't know if you've, you've ever been in environments like this before where, man, look at that. Imagine there's an error like on a point somewhere and you need to trace through that cable. I think that'd be crazy. I'd be scared <laughs> so badly. So Tremor, thanks for that because it, it was a bit of a laugh as well, but crazy. All right, let's close the Discord. This is still gonna take a few seconds, or not even seconds, few minutes, but we need to wait for the update to finish. While that happens, um, I'm just gonna quickly check on some gaming news, cause um, as some of you might be aware, I do play video games, obviously, but I love playing World of Warcraft and a new patch came out for the game last week, Wednesday. But a new raid is opening up tomorrow and I'm really excited to um, get into that. And it's actually already open for people in the US. I just don't know if, if it's live there yet because their servers were still down for maintenance before the stream. Uh, so I just quickly want to see uh, if that's still a thing. Sorry, I'm just checking on my other screen, obviously. Uh, let me just see here. Looks like it might be. Oh no, they're still busy. It's not uh, open yet. Uh, let me just look at a few other channels on the Twitch. I've also considered before to um, like stream on Twitch as well instead of YouTube, but I feel like YouTube is a better place for this type of content that we're doing. Um, it, I don't really think Twitch is a is a good place for. Like, I don't want to say educational streaming, but like you rarely see this type of content. It's either video games or um, cooking things. So I, I don't think this would do like that good on Twitch. Though maybe, I mean, maybe there's a an audience um, that would be interested on there. But it's the same thing as streaming on YouTube. It really doesn't make a difference. The nice thing about YouTube is the videos are already then uploaded on YouTube because as we stream, it's being put on YouTube for people to watch. Uh, let me just look here. Nope, <laughs> they're still waiting. Wow, um, I just quickly want to have a look at uh, Twitter. Um, Blizzard US. No, they're still busy. Wow. Still busy updating the servers. Seventy four percent. Well, we need to finish the updates, but it says nine minutes. I don't know if you guys want to go get a coffee, maybe or a cold beverage if, if you prefer, because we are going to wait for this to finish. I'm not going to cancel that just so that I can uh, install Ansible. <laughs> that's awesome great to hear the thing is why i think 
why why I'm considering Twitch is it's just there is a I don't want to say but there's a wide range of different people and I, I feel there's not enough like educational things on there for people to learn from because I don't know if people don't want to stream um, you know let's say work related uh, not work but something that you can like learn from or teach or whatever and um, I feel like it's a good place because there is a lot of people that can benefit from learning a new skill um, even if it is like network engineering or maybe like some programming stuff um, like you see I'm a noob with programming um, <laughs> obviously but um, I, I feel like it could make a difference especially if there's somebody that's trying to get work and they, they don't know um, they, they feel like there's not enough exposure because a lot of the times like young younger people um, when they apply for jobs or whatever I mean they, they get like I feel like really bad seeing a entry-level position open up and I mean it's a joke guys you've seen it before where um, an entry-level position open up and they expect you to have like um, mid to senior level experience and knowledge it's crazy to me that I've seen it a lot in programming and networking even where <laughs> they're like junior software engineer um, we expect you to have five to ten years experience but these are the people that's like coming straight out of either school or university or college or whatever and they haven't had like chance to build up that type of exposure and they don't get to um, actually do any work or learn anything new so a lot of the times they'll go to like a college they'll get their degrees or whatever and then after they're done they'll, they'll do I don't want to say nothing with it because a lot of people do something with it. it it goes on your resume obviously or whatnot but I feel like a lot of people go to college and then they just kind of do something else like they'll they'll go study to become a doctor and then they end up be becoming like I don't want to say a mechanic or something but they, they'll study to become a doctor and they'll end up with something completely different that wasn't even what they were studying for because their friend got them a job there or something that that's like the state uh, we're in a lot of the times and it's it's it sucks man I, I wish uh, companies were more willing to give people chances especially if if they are like fresh let them show you what they can do you'll be surprised I mean the only reason that I'm half good with like routers and switches is because I've nearly worked 14 years on this stuff and when I started out I was a complete noob as well and it, it, it takes time you need to give people a chance else they won't get there yeah the job experience man <laughs> but I feel like I was just ranting to um, or, or preaching to the choir because I, I think all, everybody that watches my streams and videos at least is on a similar type of um, wavelength like you guys get that as well you you understand what what it's all about it's not like um, it's not like a corporate thing for me definitely not I personally I I'm scared of uh, corporate environments it, like a big company um, I, I won't name any companies but I've, I've seen or worked with a few big companies and personally I don't like the whole like being a statistic thing because a lot of the times it is like that they'll put you in a department and you just do this thing and man, they, 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 you might as well be a robot you could as well just put like AI in that position to to fill that slot because they treat you like a robot you know they, they they don't give you opportunities or anything it's just not cool and for me a big corporation it, it's the quickest way to let's say um it, most of the times the, the bonus for working for the company is nice like you get nice money and uh, you you get to go on company uh, travels and visits and spend time in nice hotels or whatever but it, it doesn't feel like your job security is there if you know what I mean it's like 
things can change like that in the drop of a hat if, if they feel like they need to restructure something or um, they need to make an organizational change it's the scariest thing uh, so that's why i prefer working with like smaller more human interfaced uh, companies and clients and if i ever do start my own, like if, if if i get into like maybe contracting work or something then i'll also just make sure that things stay humanized at least i don't ever want the, like this feeling like a statistic thing it's it sucks All right 92 percent. it says just two more minutes and then we can play around some more <laughs> even though all that i'm going to do is install ansible now through the um, app function and i'm hoping i don't know why i'm hoping but i i don't want to see like that ansible core thing that i saw earlier because i think at least when i installed it previously through app get the ansible version showed correctly at least it, it wasn't like this um ansible core come on linux firmware what is the time in the us now um time in usa it's almost well, it's 3 p.m. in Washington, and I'm pretty sure I'm looking at GMT minus 6, so that is 1 p.m., and the people that make that game that I want to play said their stuff is going to run until 2 p.m., so that's one more hour. Okay, that's good. It gives us another hour to work on the stream for sure. Close that. Hey, Ronnie. Greetings. I've actually uh, got a few um, friends in World of Warcraft that uh, are Danish. I love. Uh, it, it, it's strange that um, like Danes have such a distinguished accent. It's it's so like you you know when when somebody is Danish, except if they like have a lot of exposure with other. Um, English people, then they, they speak a lot like more Englishy, but a Dane, man, I, I love the accent and you, you can hear them very quickly. Strong language, strong accent. All right, almost there. It's just uh, installing the rest of our packages and firmware updates and stuff. I don't even know why I, I opted to have LibreOffice installed on this um, host. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> and I'm never going to use LibreOffice on this host. All right, it's just busy running this update. At least the install or the download is finished. So this, this next portion should be a lot quicker. So I might have to just reboot the machine and then I'll do the install and then hopefully everything just works. Cool. That's done. Let's quickly see. Can we run our install now? Uh, we don't want to do the remove. We don't want to do a sudo apt install and see ball. Yes, that's totally fine. Though I should have done the restart first, but it shouldn't have uh, too much of an impact. At 11, 12. 
That still feels pretty slow. 141 KB. Okay, so we're just waiting for the install of Ansible now and while that happens I'm just reading through some tweets on Blizzard's um, Twitter account. Okay, might just minimize that and I'm going to leave this open for reference though. But this is crazy to me that, um, well at least we know that this can work. Let's quickly make it work by just doing an ifconfig, ifconfig eth0. Uh, the IP address will be 192.168.74. Dot, let's maybe make it 77. Uh, Netmask 255.255.255.0. And let's do a route add default gateway 192.168.74.2. Dot dot Can I ping out? I've got internet out, so that's good. Let's see if we can run that uh, Ansible ping now. That looks good. Unreachable though, but it's not unreachable since I was able to ping or it, it I got the SSH key from it. Uh, 192.168.74.133. Right, so I can ping it. Permission denied, public key password. I might need to, oh, I'm, I'm gonna need to get the SSH keys off of the, um, well, I'm, I'm gonna need the SSH key on my Eve server. I'm gonna need to import that into the Mikrotix so that I can uh, orchestrate some stuff. At least I remember that. All right, it looks like Ansible has been installed. Let's just do an Ansible version. All right, this just installed Ansible core again. But all I'm gonna do now is reboot since we've actually done an update. So this will just boot like any normal Linux system now. Uh, Antonia, no, I'm currently not passing through a Mikrotik to get internet access. Um, let me just go to my Eve topology. So on Eve, my Linux hosts are directly connected to my management network, which is natted out to the internet. And then I've got these Mikrotiks um, on their own little network here. So this big Mikrotik, which I called R1, connects to my management network as well, which is how we'll access it. And then from there, we'll be able to just get to all of the other uh, machines. I think at least my host last time could get to everything as well. Let's just go into the terminal quickly. And let's just do a ping to 192.168.74.133. So I could get there. Um, can I get to 10.0.0. Did I make it .1? Yes. So I can get to 10.0.0.1 and 10 101 
or did I make it ten zero one one? Let's just quickly minimize this. So it is ten one. So ten one zero. Okay. I just quickly need to jump onto this microtic as well. Just want to make sure I've got the IP address incorrect. IP address print. I do ping. So I should actually be able to ping uh, ten one zero. Do I have a route for it though? Uh, route. Wait, this is the Docker <laughs> route. Oh, uh, route add. Um, one nine two, or let's make it ten one zero zero slash. What was that? Thirty. With the gateway being one nine two one six eight seventy four one thirty three. I recall we actually had a issue just adding this static route last time. So let me just Google that again. Route static route Ubuntu. I hate it when they try and make like complex solutions. Or something that should just be straightforward. Route add, all right. Route add, I'm just gonna do the minus net. Route add minus net. One and two, one six, no. 10, one, zero, zero. Net mask, two, five, with our gateway being 192.168.74.133. All right, and then I need to sudo that. Sudo. TMB, shift 123, 123. Right, route. So can I ping 10.101 now? Yes, I can. Can I ping 10.102? Yes, which is the other remote Microtex. Um, let me just add the other routes as well quickly while I'm adding routes so that they are here for when we get to the other devices. Uh, they were slash 29, so I just want to see what the networks were. 172.16. So 172.16.00. And this is a slash 29, so that's 248. And. 192.168.55.0. I just want to see, can I ping those microtics? 0 0.4 was the one edge and 192.168.55.4. Awesome, I can get to all of the microtics. So we've got routing to every device on that network on the right hand side. Um, maybe let me just duplicate this addressing here as well just so that you understand on the po topology what's happening um this is dot two Ooh, that is the ugliest dot two i've seen in my life <laughs> uh let me just delete that duplicate dot two that looks good duplicate that Just so that everybody knows where the IP addressing is. Oh, so Antonio, I'm pretty sure I'm getting such bad speeds because of my VMware player that I'm using. So I'm not using like uh, Pro or I'm not using any special um, virtualization. This is just workstation player. And I'm, I've usually gotten not the best speeds on this, even though if I, Let's say if I go and do a speed test from this Linux host quickly, the, the speeds are actually pretty good from there. Um, it might also just be the servers that I was pulling updates from. Uh, I don't want to say it was slow, but 
if my speeds are good like this, then, you know, I kind of expect, well, let's just see what the speeds are like now, even though the stream might be a little, um, let's say laggy, even though the speed test feels a little bit slow, but this might also be the refresh of the Linux box. So I might just have to close this again. We could close that, reopen it. I hate that it does that. Yeah. So I'm getting 90 down. Probably going to be... Well, since we're busy with the stream, um, we're getting a little less up, but my connection usually runs 90-90. Which is pretty good, I suppose. Uh, all right. So I'm just going to CD to that demos again. No, not dev. CD demo. Um, Ansible version. Just do that here. So here we've got the config file again as home network berg demo Ansible. But this also has extra... I don't know, is that extra? Do you have like libyaml in the Eve Docker? Let's just see. Uh, cat etc ansible host, not hosts. Uh, now we, we just want to do an ansible version to be honest. Ansible version. Mm, doesn't have that YAML configuration. Neither the Jinja, but it's got Python, which is good. Uh, where is my... Let me just check the version again. Ooh. Getting a leg cramp, <laughs> not fun. Uh, uh. uh, Docs.ansible. Hmm. I've already done the installation. We've got a configuration file. File should be present in. nothing special in this documentation we're not doing any porting a quick start video I mean, we, we don't really want to sit here and watch a video for 13 minutes. Uh, what's Ansible? Uh, I'm just going to skip through this quickly. Okay, those are for the playbooks. But we know about playbooks already. Mm, 
nothing. IP address, um, da, 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 da. let's quickly just add that host. So I mean, I've already got, ah, do I need to, no, I'm good. So if I cat my hosts, we can see there's micro ticks. Um, let's just V, no, I shouldn't have to VI that. Let's try and run the ping again. Just want to up. No inventory was parsed. Provided host list is empty, only local. L let's actually Google this bit. Provided host list is empty, only local host available. And let's Google this through Firefox on the Linux host. Uh, Stack Overflow. And it's so strange because since I've already got a video on installing Ansible, but it was on a previous version and it's not working the way that I'm expecting it to. All right, this is uh, not that relevant to us. Mm -mm. So that's not that relevant to us. What? Ansible minus M setup host name. What, what is this? This is also not relevant.
That actually makes sense that it is unhashed there. But then it's going to give me a bunch of um, errors about the plugins again. But I want to test something out because before I didn't have this hosts here. So let's just dehash that. Save that. sudo tmb shift 123123. tmb shift 123123. What's that doing? I hit enter. Oh. That looks promising. That actually looks very promising because now we are actually getting, it's trying to do the ping, failed to connect to permission denied, but this, this looks good guys. This is what we want. It sounds dumb, but we now see that Ansible is actually trying to connect, but it's failing because of the permission denied public key dot password. All right, so what we actually want to do is we want to install wine. Um, so sudo apt install wine. Oh, man. How long is that going to take? The reason I want to install wine is so that we can actually run um, the Winbox on this Linux host so that I can actually just connect to those Mikrotix and, um, you know, do a few things. Uh, this is like mainly uploading the SSH key or not SSH key, the uh, secret file. Let me just quickly add another window, but I'm happy with that. So what I think what was happening before was the Ansible, when we have this unhashed, or when we have it hashed, it, it just kind of like follows its default um, information. So it was probably trying to find the host file uh, in etc, um, well, forward slash etc, forward slash Ansible. But since there was no host file, it was giving us that error. And the other time when I had this unhashed and it didn't work was because we actually didn't specify uh, this hosts bit, which is dumb, but that's how it is. It, it's, it's correct. It shouldn't have worked. And now it's working because we have hosts. So that makes sense. So Ansible is now able to try and ping. So if it can try and ping, it means we can actually try and connect. We can, um, we can use the browser. So we can connect over webfig. I'm just not sure if we can upload the files via webfig, maybe. Uh, let's try. So if I go to my files, I can actually upload. This is actually pretty good. That's a good uh, suggestion, Ronnie. So let's use webfig um, to upload the file as well. But I still want to install wine because I'm, I prefer using Winbox and I also prefer using the command line on Mikrotik. But webfig is like, like Winbox. It's just an ugly version of it but it, it, it does the job still, so it doesn't really matter. Um, all right, let's quickly add the SSH keys uh, on the Linux host. So I just want to make sure how we're gonna do that. Ansible setup Ubuntu. There's a very specific thing I'm looking for. Uh, I'm not, don't really care about that stuff. No, not what I'm looking for. Sorry, well, I was getting like a bit twitchy there. All 
I'm sorry, I'm not like trying to like sneak anything past you guys. This is just all on the documentation. Um, I just need to get, I need to generate some RSAs. Let me just put it back on this other screen because there is a few blogs that I'm go glancing over at least to try and get the right info. Oh, while that's happening, I just want to also have a glance here. That's I don't know why it's like capped like that. It feels like I'm getting bottlenecked by something. Anyways. Um. Just on the Microtech forum now as well, and on an Ansible section. But before that, uh, do I have two terminals? Yes. So first thing I just want to do is SSH 2192.168.74.133. Uh, I just need to SSH as admin at so it's already got that key what I might do is climb onto that host file let's just open that up as well so hosts and then what we might do is, um, let's say Ansible underscore user equals admin, uh, Ansible underscore host. I actually think I need to specify it like that. TMB shift one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, come on. Do I have a caps lock? No, TMB. TMB. There we go. All right. So I'd like to just try and let's just CD to that directly. Demo. I'm not sure why I'm getting this error now because it was definitely working just now. All right, but I still want to get the actual SSH key generated on um, the Linux box. Uh, that's not relevant. Not something I'm too interested in. There was some mum documentation, but 
not what I'm looking for. Just generate SSH key. I'll just Google that rather. Uh, da, da, da. SSH key gen. And right, let's just do that. I uh, might need to close and reopen. Okay. SSH. CD. Let's just go to our home. Um, so let's just do a sudo ssh keygen tmb shot123123. Root ssh id rsa. Right, so if I go into my files quickly, other locations, computer, is root here? It is. TMB should one two three one two three. Let's just do another key gen. Enter a file in which to save the key. Uh, let's maybe also just make that on demo. So if I go into my home, is there any demo here? There's demo, but it doesn't get saved there. wonder if I just use the find here. Mm. Test key. Do search from here for test key. This should be it. Test key dot pub. I wonder, can I upload it? Uh, no, I need to recall where to do this on Microtech. Don't think it's on the resources. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Might be under our users. SSH keys, import SSH key. Uh, all right, I first need to just upload this as a file. So let's just go into our files. Um, if I can find the darn thing. Just minimize that. There we go. Files. Browse. Uh, 
uh, and the root here. I might just have to copy that key across. See if we can do that. Copy both of them. Try and throw this in demo. No, okay, I can't. Hmm. How am I going to get that? Because clearly I can't get into root because of the permissions or it's unreadable. What is this demo? And these are the, these are also the public keys that we created. It's called demo. Okay. Let's try and upload that. Uh, let's go to home. Oh, there's test keys as well. Okay, and let me just upload straight test key. Thanks, Jack. Well, we've got the testkey.pub here. Though I do feel like I want this file as well. Oh, but let's try and just add that quickly to users. Uh, import SSH key, key file, testkey.pub, import. Root at TMB. That looks good. I can minimize that. Minimize that. And we still got wine, but wine's busy installing. It's finished downloading, so that's good. Okay, uh, CD demo. Why is it doing that though? Go back up here. See the demo. Because I know for a fact earlier we it tried pinging. I mean it was running the commands, it just failed because of permissions being denied. Let me go back and... Uh, I want to just take this bit out again. Save that. Retry sudo tmb shift123123. Let's try again. All right. The network bird at so look at that SSH key. user admin. So issue that I'm having is that it's trying to connect as the network bird. So what I could do is either maybe create an account for that, or I can just update an Ansible what the default um, username is. Let me try this. Um, Damn, I need to look at the host file. Um, Ansible host file. Ansible underscore host. And there's also Ansible underscore user.
but there's talking about a dot ini file sorry this is just what i'm looking at Ansible user. I want to look at the config file as well. Just do a control F on user as well. SSH connection. There's nothing there. Open. Interval. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm doing equals. It's a micro thing, I think. Host. T. Uh. TMB shift one two three one two three. All right, it's not happy with what I'm specifying here. I wonder, can I do this? Ansible underscore user equals admin. TMB one two three one two three TMB shift one two three uh shift one two three one two three Alright I think the screen froze again. No, it's not happy with that either. Or either, depending on how you want to say that. TMB shift one two three one two three. Okay, so we're back to square one. And our issue is that it's trying to connect with the network berg. Um, I'm just gonna do the trick where I'm just gonna add a user called the network berg and see if that first micro at least responds. Even though I'd like them all to connect with um, the other admin account. So let's do users, users, users. Oh, I'm already in users. Uh, let's add a new user. What was that terminal connecting with? The network berg. So the network berg. Apply. Okay. Let's try and run that again. Let's see if the first one at least does something. All right, so now we're getting a interesting error on the first one. Unreachable change, false message, failed to create temporary directory. In some cases you may have been able to authenticate and did not have permissions on the target directory. Consider changing remote TMP path in the Ansible config to a path rooted in. Very interesting. TMB shift one two three one two three.
what is the first one doing I'm not seeing an error from the first one now but I'm not sure that that necessarily means that it's working let me just take out all of the other hosts quickly save that TMB shift one two three one two three All right, now it's connecting or trying to connect via root for some reason. I, I can't <laughs> add new accounts the whole time, but that's fine. I just want to test. Uh, let's see what you do. All right, so we're having some other issues right now where it can't create some other directory. So there has to be some other stuff in this ansible.cfg that we're still not happy with. But we have definitely made some progress. At least we know that Ansible is like trying to do its thing. Um, and it is kind of working because we are referencing stuff in an inventory file, but we are not actually there yet. We can't even ping the host yet. Uh, all right, well, Guys, I'm going to have to call the stream now. Because um, um, I, I didn't actually plan on streaming this long. I planned on streaming like an hour. But I guess time got away with us. Um, we'll definitely continue the stream. I might do some research in the background before the next stream as well. So that we don't like struggle even though i kind of want this to be a learning space and that everybody can see like the struggles you might go through if you do this as well um but i just want to make sure that on the next stream that we can at least connect to routers and at least ping them you know if we can ping them like in that command line then we can effectively establish a successful connection because it's, it's not really a ping it's more or less ansible when you do the ping it's it's kind of like testing to see if it can connect to the remote host and if it can make um changes so that is definitely what i want us to achieve in the next stream and if we can make changes then we can start writing playbooks and think of playbooks as scripts that we can use to run tasks tasks really <laughs> so we can do things like add vlans or make changes to uh, routing protocols like bgp or ospf through ansible which is pretty cool so i'm hoping we can get it done but We've definitely made progress in the stream. So thanks for everybody that, that watched. Appreciate it. Thanks for the supporters. And I'll catch you guys in the next stream. Have a good evening.